Bismillah. As we continue in our journey in the shade of Ramadan, journeying through Surah Al-Buruj, we look at verses number four through seven, where we learn about a group of people called Ashabul Ukhdud, the companions of the ditch. This group of people and the believers amongst them, they witnessed a unique and very heavy trial. As we learned about the tyrant king, this ruler and his apparatus around him ordered the digging of ditches filled with blazing fire. And there was an elaborate fanfare and enjoyment of this unspeakable crime by their fellow countrymen, by the people that they lived next to, that they went to the marketplace with, that they shared so much with. A group of amongst them sat and watched as this unspeakable horror of this genocide unfolded. Sadly, while the Qur'an does not tell us exactly how many people suffered, some historians suggest that some 20,000 people were murdered in these crimes. Now these believers, what type of resolve did they have? And what type of strength did they activate? They were in fact new Muslims. They had not been in faith for long, but it seems that something awoke within them that gave them such steadfastness and strength to imagine a brighter future for their society. Among the dimensions that make this story unique also is that these people may have had the excuse of acting that they had rejected or giving in to the king's demand due to duress and due to hardship. But as a community, they chose the path of difficulty and resolve. In fact, they became a symbol, a Qur'anic symbol of steadfastness until the end of times. This group also reminds us about something important. You know, we especially as the Ummah of Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the blessings of Allah, is that we are often used to seeing quick results. Sometimes a person that is undergoing oppression gets a breath of fresh air, a measure of relief that reminds them that they are on the right path. There are people listening now that are teaching Sunday school classes or having youth groups or preaching to groups that are larger in numbers than prophets will have followers on the day of judgment. Imagine that for a moment. And that lesson, it teaches us something deep. It teaches us something important, that it is not the results alone that matter. The journey and the means matter greatly, and the results are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From His immense mercy, many people that stand for the truth find many breezes of mercy and relief in this life, but it is not a guarantee. Many of the companions of the Prophet wasallam witnessed days of security, peace and plenty after incredibly difficult days. But Sumayya radiallahu anha, Yasir radiallahu an. Even the mother of the believers, Khadija bint Khuwailid radiallahu anha, they never lived to witness these days. And some of the most worthwhile causes in life are those, those that are so important, so critical, that they're worth working towards, even if they end up being handed off into the next generation as a person enters their grave. That's how important it is. And in fact, as an American Muslim community, and as Americans generally, we are the inheritors of such dreams. Dreams of people that suffered from the greatest of the sins of this country, the European American slave trade, and many who worked, dreamed, imagined, and invested for a day that people would have dignity and freedom, an opportunity, freedom to worship, freedom to learn. And many of them understood that they were unlikely to live to witness those days, sadly. But I believe and I hope that in the example of Ashab al that they are rewarded for the freedoms and dignities that many enjoy today, even as we have much further to go. The example of the believers here is such a critical example as we see the genocide unfolding in Gaza, the consistent repression of the Palestinian people, and indeed the generational wars and systemic oppression that affect populations east and west and that we are struggling still to confront and overcome here in North America. And this story is a reminder, a reminder of resolve, of strength, of courage, of dignity, of freedom. And it is an exceptional story, a story where people gave the ultimate sacrifice to teach that society generally. And in fact, they were successful that although with an unimaginable price, eventually their society shifted and power went from this tyrant king and his court and good 
believing, moral, ethical people inherited the affairs of people after this unspeakable genocide. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding of the truth is truth and to bless us to follow it. And may he show us falsehood as falsehood and bless us to avoid it. And may Allah guide us and guide through us and make us a cause of guidance for others. Allahumma ameen. Wassalamu alaikum.